This is Yonex's newest 2024 racket, the Nano Flare Next Stage. We saw Yonex release their first Next Stage racket in the Astrox Next Stage last year, and now we have the second racket in the Next Stage lineup. Today, we'll be taking a look at this Nano Flare Next Stage and talking about the design, how it feels, and pricing for this new racket. If you guys are new here, my name is Howard, and I'm a professional badminton player. I've been trying to create more content for you guys on this channel, so if you guys like my videos, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about the appearance. The matte white is super clean. It's kind of reminiscent of the Arcsaber 10 Peter Gate Edition, if you guys remember that racket, or even the older Voltrix 70 E-Tune with even just more white. There's no crazy accent colors on it at all, just silver for most of the detailing and your standard black grommets. The original undergrip that it comes with is already white, so I personally would pair this with white super graph or white towel grip just to keep the clean white out look. But you can definitely have some cool contrast if you were to pair it with some color grip or even use colored strings like red or green arrow bite. Moving along to just highlight some of the technology that Yonex has thrown in this to create this medium flex headlight racket. It has the sonic flare system that we're seeing in most of the nano flare series, the wide profile frame, which helps reduce frame warping, and also the energy boost cap plus, which helps concentrate shaft flex in the forward and back motion. If you haven't noticed, the Yonex team has been making string pairing recommendations on most of their rackets now. No different here. You can see on their website and on the plastic racket cover, it says that for control players, they're recommending Skyart, and for power players, they're recommending Nano G95. Although I typically play Aerobite, I went with one of Yonex's recommended strings for this racket, which is the Nano G95, and strung it at the upper bound of their recommendation at 28 pounds. When I first picked up the racket, the overall weight and balance was spot on with their flagship Nano Flare series. Not only is it light, but incredibly headlight. After a few sessions with it, the racket felt just as I expected, extremely fast on drives and flat game because it's so headlight. It excelled in any shot that requires just purely fast reflexes, but I didn't quite get the firm feeling that I'm used to getting in stiff or extra stiff profiled racket. This probably is not the best choice for those of you that are looking for extra overhead power, especially in your full smashes. Nor if you're looking for a racket that has a good follow through, the headlight nature of this racket just won't provide that. For these reasons, I personally don't think that this racket is fit for singles players since singles typically has slower strokes that require more follow through and precision. However, if you're primarily a mid court and front court doubles player, or if you're an intermediate player looking specifically for a headlight racket and don't need the highest end nano flare like the 800 Pro or 1000Z, then this racket is right up your alley. And because of the medium flex, it definitely felt very soft and forgiving. Forgiving in the sense that if you have wrist or shoulder issues and can't handle a heavy or stiff profiled racket, this definitely could help you out. One thing that is really nice about this Nanoflare Next Stage is that Yonex isn't overcomplicating you with options. As we've been seeing, most other racket series have been coming out in multiple levels. Sometimes in three tiers like the Arcsaber 11 and the Astrox 77 with Pro, Tour, and Play versions, but more often in four tiers like the Nanoflare 1000Z or Nanoflare 800 with Pro, Tour, Game, and Play models. I'm interested to see if Yonex will continue with these tiered versions, but with the Nanoflare Next Stage, there's no tiered versions, it's just one model and in the 4U G5 spec. The suggested retail price on this racket is about 150 US dollars, which puts it below the highest end pro line rackets that are manufactured in Japan, but above the play models. So price point wise, it's most comparable to some of Yonex's game and tour racket models that are manufactured in Taiwan, just like this Nano Flare Next Stage. Now, the worldwide launch date in stores is January 17th, 
so be on the lookout for this racket. If you end up picking one up, drop a comment below on what you think about it or if there's any other badminton products you might want to see me talk about, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.